What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, You See It 2018, bringing you the final installment of the upgrades to the GMC Denali road bike. This will be the last video in the series of upgrading this bike. Just as a quick disclaimer, like, subscribe, share. Uh, this video is simply being made for anybody that has a GMC road bike Denali or GMC Denali road bike. Um, also, anybody that has uh, the Genesis line of bikes. This is some of the things that you can do. Uh, this is the final product of the GMC Denali road bike. All of the upgrades in its full glory. Um, let me get right into it. Um, my previous video showed everything that I've already upgraded. Um, just real quick, the wheel set has been changed out. The gears in the back, the rear derailleur, uh, front derailleur, crank set, handlebars, the shifters. The shifters, front derailleur, and rear derailleur is uh, the Shimano Torni brand. Um, look at the other videos and you will know the parts and the specs for those. Um, this video is just going to highlight the last things that were that needs to be done that was changed out on here. Um, that will include the front fork. This is the old front fork. You have a one inch steerer tube right here. This is steel, Denali steel here. Um, again, this is what comes on the bike. This is what was switched out. This is a one inch threaded steerer. And the headset as well is a one inch headset that was on here originally. Um, this had to go because this is very heavy. Um, solid steel. Let me see here. As you can hear, um, the quill stem that goes with it. Surprisingly, the quill stem is actually aluminum. Um, still a very outdated design. Um, again, 31.8 millimeter uh, clamp size for the front here. So when upgrading that, make sure that if you're going to uh, switch it out, you know, just make sure that the part is compatible, you know, for what you're switching out. Um, but this quill stem, you know, again, old outdated part, you know, not very efficient, but I mean, it's not too bad, but whatever. Um, my brakes were also the last thing that changed out. I found through a lot of digging that these brakes are the act actually Pro Max brakes. They are not bad, actually. They're light. Um, stopping power does lack, but these brakes were changed out. I uh, changed out the brake pads on here, so I have the longer uh, brake pads that were on here. So it helped with the stopping power, but I wanted uh, something different, something more efficient, something lighter, and I got just that. Uh, let me explain what you have to change out when you do do the brakes. So these are the Shimano Tiagra brakes that I have here, the BR4700. I got all of these parts from eBay. Um, these are also uh, different brake pads. Um, I can't remember the size, but as you can see, I wanted to match them up with uh, the Schrader valve cap that's on here. Um, a lot of people ask me about the the name, the stockish. It's just something that I did just to set my bike apart. This fork is an alloy fork, um, much lighter than this right here. Um, there's a lot of weight that was removed from the front end of this bike. Um, I also had to run 25C tires. So originally I had 28C tires, but now, because of the clearance of the brakes here, I had to drop down to 25. The 28s will rub right on the top under here. So I had to drop down to 25s, which is not a big deal. But these are light. They're fast. Good tread. I, I really do like the Vittoria Zafiro uh, brand tires. They're really good. I've ridden them, man. They're quiet. They're smooth. They're efficient. No problems. No issues there. Um, headset. FSA threadless headset. I went from a threaded headset, which is the stock headset on Denali. Now, this is a threadless headset. 
So what I did was when you switch from threaded to threadless, which it is possible, you have to get a threadless stem, oh, I'm sorry, a threadless uh, fork. The steerer tube, it was actually 11 inches. So the steerer tube from the crown race here through there to the top is 11 inches total. This did not have to be cut. So it fit perfectly. Um, FSA threadless one inch headset that is absolutely beautiful. Aluminum, I'm sorry, alloy, aluminum, whatever. Uh, everything fits perfectly. The headset had to be cut just a little bit, not the headset, but there's a little uh, shim, a little piece on the top of this fork that had to be cut just to allow this to fit. Not a major thing, any bike shop can do it, but that had to be cut to allow this headset to fit on there. Easy fix. This part right here on top of the crown race, there's a piece on the new fork that is a little bit wider. So that piece, it's a little piece that goes around that, that has to be cut, and when that's cut, your one inch threadless headset can fit smoothly, no problem. That's the bottom, here's the top. I mean, absolutely beautiful. I went with FSA carbon spacers here. Um, I didn't use all of them, uh, but those are the one eighth inch uh, spacers. Um, I'm sorry, those are the one inch spacers because they fit around the steerer tube. The inside of here, you actually have to get a shim if you're doing what I did, I ran, this is the FSA SLK uh, 1 8 inch stem. This is a 110 millimeter. This is actually just about the same as this one. So I'm not taking away from the original dimensions on the bike. So when you look at that one and this one, they're pretty much the same. The one... 10 millimeter is actually just a little bit longer, but that's okay because it'll give me just a little bit more reach when I'm in the saddle. So I opted to go with the 110, 110 millimeter uh, threadless setup on here. Um, the top cap that comes with your FSA headset is actually going to be a little bit too small. So my bike shop had a Cane Creek top cap just hanging around so they put that on there it fits in perfectly um again it's a cane creek it's not an fsa but you know it fits good back to the shim what's going to happen is is when you put a one inch steerer tube in here you're not going to really find the stems that fits on the one inch steerer tube so the best thing that you can do is go with the one eighth inch uh one and one eighth inch stem and then get you a shim that converts from one and one eighth to one inch. So this silver piece that's in here, that's a Thompson uh, stem shim. Those are like seven, eight bucks on eBay. Um, they fit inside of this housing here and it takes up the difference between the steer tube and the stem. So it allows the stem to sit flush on there. Spacers go underneath there and it gives you that look of a one and one eight inch steer tube. So that fits beautifully. This is aluminum light fits right on the, again, the clamp is a 31.8 millimeter. Uh, but the FSA logo sits right there. Actually really nice. Again, this handlebar is the HED GTO Grand Tour. Um, very light, very good. Um, again, the setup in the front is, is very good. Um, no complaints, very light. Um, I added the Cat Eye Padron uh, cyclometer, cyclometer on my bike. My foam mount is here. Um, the other things that I did, again, like I said, I just added the decals. I took all of the GMC decals off of here. I ordered a, this is called an Angry Piston. So I wanted to do something different on the front. Um, as you can see, as I'm looking at it now, you see my lines have the uh, Shimano branding on the lines, which is very clean, very nice. Um, everything fits very good. Everything is clean. Everything is efficient. Quick release wheels on my Weeman 519 wheels. Again, I really just scoured eBay for the theme and just did everything on there. 
um, took off all of the GMC branding. Um, I took a heat gun to the original decals that was on here. This is what you're going to get. As you can see in the video, you can still see where the white was inside of there and where the paint fade, you know, happened. Um, I'm not really worried about that. Eventually, I may find something to cover that. But, I mean, the separation from orange to black is okay. The orange doesn't quite match, but it's close enough when you're far away and when you're outside, it doesn't matter. So, um, this is my GMC Denali. Uh, I ordered the HED decals to go on here just because I really like my drop bars here so i just wanted to keep it simple i wanted to make sure that it looked like something that most people didn't see um i also added my fsa decals on here i covered the 6061 i didn't like the way the 6061 looked there so i actually put the fsa on there just to match with my headset and my spacers and my stem so i wanted to keep everything kind of in line um i did add a pearly zoomy decal on here because uh my cycling shoes are pearly zoomy i do like their brand so you know i'm a sucker for you know the branding aspect so i just wanted to kind of show you guys what the final product looks like again these are fero if you're looking for some good tires you can't go wrong with the Vittorias. Me personally, I feel like these are very efficient, very fast, very smooth rolling tire. Again, these are 25C tires. Um, they're, they're great on the road, not a lot of road noise. Um, and you're gonna find yourself, even with just adding these tires on here, you're gonna find yourself just at least a good, you know, mile an hour faster. You know, I, I'm not gonna sit up here and say, oh, I'm so much faster now because of new tires. But, you know, realistically speaking, these tires, the tread pattern, you know, they offer, you know, enough grip and enough uh, rolling resistance for you to be a lot smoother, you know, when you're riding on them. So this, again, is the finished product of my GMC Denali road bike. Um, I've got a few comments. A lot of people were actually glad to see that somebody took the time to do this. Um, again, like I said in the videos before, for those avid cyclists, those giant TCR guys, those Fuji, those Trek, those Cannondale, those specialized guys, I respect you. I appreciate you. Um, this video was not for you. Um, these are for us entry level guys that enjoy a project from time to time and we want to upgrade, you know, bikes and, and make them more efficient, more faster. You know, a lot of guys have the training bikes and you could do this to that. And, you know, all told with everything, I'm just over 700 bucks invested in this bike. I paid a hundred for it, invested 700. I have an $800 bike, you know, so this is something that I love. I love the fact that I've kind of built it from the ground up. Again, everything on this bike has been upgraded. The only original component on this bike is the frame. That's it. Alloy frame, alloy everything else. There's no steel on here with the exception of the steel screws and stuff like that. But, you know, that's what you're going to get with every component. The only badging that I have on here that you will know that is a GMC is this. It'll show you right there. I decided to leave it on there just as a reminder to myself that this is a GMC Denali road bike. Uh, again, everything has been changed out. I love how everything has turned out. I love the fact that everything is compatible. Everything works smoothly. These Shimano AO73 shifters, these things are actually really good. I love them. Um, the shifting after riding on them for a little while, you know, I have no issues with shifting. I have absolutely no issues with riding. Everything is absolutely smooth. I'm trying to get the phone to focus here, but uh, you guys know what this is. I've already got the side view there. But um, these shifters are great. Um, pricing is good. Everything on this bike that you see, you can find on eBay. You know, if you're an Amazon shopper, quite sure you can find them in there too. But this is everything that I've done to this bike. I've upgraded it. I love riding it. It's very comfortable. It's very smooth. And like I said in previous videos, I just wanted to get this out there to show people what you can do with a little bit of time.
If you have any questions about specs, about numbers, about sizing, I have everything written down. I actually have a bill sheet on everything that I just wrote down. Everything, you know, the price, the cost, everything. You know, this is this is pretty much everything that I did. So, you know, just in a rush, I just wrote everything down. And this is everything that's on the bike with the exception of the fork. The fork actually cost me about 80 bucks on eBay. Um, the stem, the FSA stem, that was about 30 bucks. The stem shim, S-H-I-M, stem shim. The Thompson stem shim, again, that's like seven bucks. The spacers were actually like eight, nine bucks. The headset, the FSA headset, the one inch headset, that was about 30 bucks. You know, so again, like I said, that bill sheet as it sits without everything on there, that had $613 with everything that was added on there. All of this stuff, that was all $613. That's not including installation on the things. Um, again, shouts out to Less Ride Cycles on Sterling Road in Hollywood. Those guys are absolutely great. They are very knowledgeable. They're very patient. They're kind. They don't make beginning cyclists or or, or new cyclists feel, you know, like they got to spend a ton of money to upgrade their bikes. If you bring a bike to them and you have something that you want to upgrade, Less Ride Cycles in Hollywood is the place that will make you feel right at home. So again, shouts out to Less Ride Cycles on Hollywood, on Sterling Road. You know, those guys have done everything that you see here, the majority of everything you see here. So again, just want to reiterate, everything on this bike is completely new upgraded there is no original components except for the frame on this bike uh i've hoped you enjoyed me explaining everything you know again if you have any questions any comments drop them in the comments below and i will definitely answer it to the best of my ability if you need any questions if you have any questions on specs on sizes, you know, what model numbers for everything. I have it all written down from the brakes to the wheels to the gears. Everything is written down. I have it. Whatever you need to know about these bikes, just ask me and I will definitely let you know. Nine and a half times out of ten, I got the information and I can let you know and I can steer you in the right direction. Again, to us guys that love a project build and that love these bikes and want to upgrade these bikes you can definitely make this bike something nice on the road box weight is 32 pounds on this bike as it sits right now this box this bike weighs in at just over 23 pounds we are not in the carbon world we are not in those high price high dollar bike world but correct me if i'm wrong dropping down from 32 pounds to 23 pounds i think that's worth a pat on the back based off of what i wanted to do and i wanted to show everybody that this bike can definitely be upgraded if you decide to take the time and again we're not trying to disrespect those avid cyclists that have spent thousands of dollars on their on their bikes i respect you again like i said before one day that'll be me that just won't be today so I hope you enjoyed this video and all the videos in this series. If you got any questions, let me know. GMC Denali Road Bike, which is now the Stockish Road Bike. Thank you. Appreciate you.